Hello my dear students, very good morning to all. Hope you are all doing good. And we are going to discuss about our Anna University syllabus in the first semester that is Engineering Chemistry CY8151. In that we are going to discuss about water technology or water treatment. So we are going to deal about the basics involved in water technology and water treatment. Also, we are going to concentrate on the terminologies involved in this class. So, without further delay, let us move to the class. Now, we are going to see about the sources of water. Here, you can see beautiful images of various water resources. And rain is the primary source of water. From rain only, all other water bodies are getting its water. And we all know that earth is covered by two third of its surface by water and in that only three percent water is fresh water among the three percentage of water we only identify and use 0.5 percentage of fresh water remaining 2.5 percentage of fresh water is locked up in ice caps glaciers reservoirs etc and lakes and ponds are temporary water resources and they are getting its water only during the rainy seasons. Rivers and streams are formed from various ice glaciers and from some other sources. Oceans are getting its water from rivers and streams with lots of minerals loaded in it. Here we can see the images of poor conditions of water sources. So, in the first two images, we can see how the water is turbid. And in the third image, we can see how the fresh water body is polluted by human beings. Do you think these waters are actually fit for domestic and industrial purposes? No. So, the waters from these sources are unfit for domestic and industrial purposes. To make the water fit for industrial and domestic purpose, we have to convert the impure water to pure water. So for that we have to remove the impurities present in it. What are the impurities usually present in water? Like hardness, iron, manganese, arsenic and other harmful metal salts, tannins from animal products, bad and foul odors, harmful chlorine products turbidity, acidity, alkalinity, so many types of impurities will be there in some water. In some water only specific impurities will be present. But we have to make the impure water to pure in order to use them in domestic and industrial purposes. So this is nothing but water technology or water treatment. So water technology is nothing but Converting water into pure form to make it fit for industrial as well as domestic purposes. In this unit, we are not going to concentrate on some other impurities. We are specifically going to concentrate on hardness of the water. How hard the water is? Usually, we have heard the term hard or hardness for the strongest material or metal like diamond or some other metal but we are introducing the term hard also to water to describe something which is present in water here in the left image you can see the rainwater is marked as soft water and the ground water is marked as hard water and when the surface water is getting into the water table so, during its travel, it dissolves the calcium and magnesium salts present in the rocky minerals and also they reach as the groundwater table. As a result, the hot water is getting concentrated again and again in the groundwater table and the water becomes more hard. So, it is clear that hot water is nothing but water containing dissolved calcium and magnesium salts. And when the water is not containing calcium and magnesium salts, 
then it is called pure water now we are going to differentiate between soft water and hot water so in the left image you can see how the water is soft and how the water is hot based on the amount of calcium and magnesium salts present in it if it is soft water then it should not contain any calcium and magnesium ions which means that zero ppm of calcium and magnesium salts if it contains more amount of calcium and magnesium salts then the water becomes more hard now we are going to introduce a new term called hardness of water what is that actually we are going to describe it using soap solution here the person is dissolving soap in one solution that is the left bucket in the right bucket also he used the same soap what you are actually inferring from that in the first bucket you are seeing foams or lathers are forming in the second bucket only milky precipitate is formed which actually means that both the waters are not same they are different so the first one that is the left bucket where foam or lather is formed is soft water and the second bucket which contains milky precipitate is called hard water so we have to describe the hardness based on this property so hardness is nothing but characteristic property of water which does not form or produce lather foam or you can even say it as a bubble with soap solution so you are going to describe the hard water based on the reaction with soap so it is the property of water which does not produce lather or foam with soap or soap solution so this is called hardness of water so we have to describe it precisely so that we are going to add some property to it here you can see the image of soap soaps are nothing but sodium salts of fatty acids so when the soaps are added to soft water they will form bubbles so these sodium salts of fatty acids only form bubbles but when the soaps are added to hard water the sodium is replaced by magnesium or calcium forming magnesium salts of fatty acids so these calcium and magnesium salts traps the fatty acid that is soap molecules and does not produce any lather or foam instead they form scum or white precipitate the exact equation is soap on reaction with the hardness producing magnesium chloride produces white precipitate instead of bubble or foam or lather they formed white precipitate or the white precipitate is called as scum so the basic behind this thing is soaps are actually sodium salts of fatty acids they form bubbles in the absence of calcium and magnesium but when soaps are added to hard water containing calcium and magnesium so these calcium and magnesium ions takes the soap molecule and does not allow them to become foam or lather so now it is our responsibility to detect hardness in water suppose you are visiting a place and there is so much of problems because of hardness and when they ask you to identify whether the water is hard or soft or hardness of water is there you have to help them so how so using soap solution you can help them identifying the water is whether hard or soft for example if you add the soap or soap solution to the water sample then if it is giving white precipitate then easily you can identify the water is very hard so again the same image what i am giving here so if the water is soft it produces foam or lather like in the left bucket if the water is hard it forms only milky precipitate or scum in the right bucket so it is the one method to identify or detect hardness in the second method we are going to use some laboratory reagents like aerochrome black tea indicator and buffer solution which is maintaining the ph in the range of 8 to 10 or even you can call it as 9 to 10 
So when we add aerochrome black tea indicator to the water in the pH range 8 to 10, if it produces the wine red color, what you are seeing in the conical flask, then the water is hot. If it does not produce wine red color, then you can easily conclude that the water is soft. So this uh, using these kind of test we can easily detect the hardness of water so now it's your turn to ask some other questions regarding the sources of water or regarding the hardness hard water soft water etc so uh, with this i am going to conclude and leaving the space to you to think and thank you so much for the patient listening to the class and we will discuss so many things in the near future thank you so much have a great day bye